It's been a great few days and uh, what an amazing conference uh, it has been. Um, as the, the patron of Animal Evac, which are the custodians of GADMAC, it's certainly my pleasure to provide some concluding remarks and uh, give you an update of where we've been and also where we're heading to potentially. First of all, I'd just like to showcase some of the initial feedback that we've had from uh, viewers and attendees. Um, so naturally, GADMAC is about creating animal inclusive disaster resilience. We've had over 48 presentations over those four days from 16 countries. So we've really made a, a genuine effort to make sure that we have a global reach and a, and a global connectivity. Um, we've had over 2,315 people register as delegates uh, for GADMAC, which is double than what we started with at GADMAC 2021. Um, as a result of the feedback we had from GADMAC 2021, uh, we had a huge interest in particular from um, North America. So this time around, we created a um, North America uh, time zone. Um, and I certainly thank my um, uh, colleagues on the conference committee in terms of facilitating um, that. It did make our, our uh, coordination a bit more tricky, um, but uh, with people around the world, it certainly made it a bit more accessible. And leading on to that access accessibility, uh, we also trialed to use Zoom uh, multilingual closed captions. And I believe it's been a feature that's been used quite a bit. So that's really encouraging to see. Now, when you've completed our, the session, you would have received a, uh, a, a survey. And um, just having a, a quick look at the surveys, um, the, the, the feedback is just a resounding, excellent experience. Um, uh, basically, everyone's saying, yes, they would definitely recommend GADMAC. Um, but in terms of some of the more constructive uh, feedback, um, people are sort of suggesting more interactive and collaborative opportunities. So we'll certainly look at that in terms of the, the format and style uh, in the next GADMAC. Now, there's a number of quotes that we just pulled out from the evaluations. Um, I won't go through them all, um, but it's really good to sort of see that um, people are finding GADMAC useful, um, useful in their current role, uh, useful in their advocacy role, um, and useful no matter where they are in the world. There is something for, for everyone um, at GADMAC. So really encouraging to see that level of, of feedback. If we look at the future direction of some of the themes, and I thank uh, uh, Mel Taylor for giving me some, some ideas and some thoughts um, around where do we go from here? Now, next times conference, and I won't say next year because we, we haven't made a decision whether it'll be next year or two years away like um, we've, we've done in the past. Um, but there certainly has been some consistent uh, themes coming up that warrant further discussion um, and visibility. Um, I really liked uh, Mel Taylor's sort of um, messaging around, we've got to stop saying there was no, no lives lost, uh, but 500 cattle were, were lost. Um, we need to make sure that our disaster messaging is actually inclusive of animals. But what's becoming very clear in, a, in what we call a polycrisis world where we're just constantly in one disaster or crisis to the next and they're cascading and they're consecutive and they're, and they're simultaneous and they're overlapping is that response is not sustainable and it doesn't prevent animal disaster harm. So although we need to have response within a comprehensive emergency management approach, um, we need to be giving more attention into the disaster risk reduction. So we don't need to respond to the size or scale that we are currently attending at the moment and likely uh, to see increase with climate change uh, and the increase impacts and likelihoods of disasters. So as one of those uh, mechanisms to um, mitigate and prevent uh, disasters, one of those aspects or one of those solutions is around law. Uh, and we've heard from various speakers today uh, their, their comments and thoughts around legislation and how it's influenced their, their presentation and their experiences. Uh, so one of the things that um, Animal Evac New Zealand and with its um, GA 
uh, with its GADMAC um, apparatus is that we'll be trying to establish an international panel uh, on animal disaster uh, management law uh, made up of lawyers, practitioners, veterinarians, policy advisors, et cetera, that can, that can develop hopefully a model act. So many people will be aware there's a model act for animal welfare, um, but again, even within the Animal Welfare Act, it does not extend into disaster management. So there's an opportunity for us to create a model act, um, and that will mean that we can actually start to measure uh, progress. So how do we know that we're actually getting better in this field? How are we accountable? Um, and this sort of goes back to another point that's been raised before around data. Um, we collect data in terms of human fatalities, uh, but often animal fatality, um, injury rates, et cetera, and disasters are not well documented. So how can we actually ensure that what we are doing is actually making a tangible difference? And following on from the Model Act um, in New Zealand, um, the Emergency Management Bill, which is the main disaster management legislation, that's up for review um, in the form of the Emergency Management Bill. And so that gives us an opportunity. Um, New Zealand's often seen as the country of, of kindness, the, the, the country of having good animal welfare, um, and uh, a country that's exposed to numerous um, hazards. So there's a great opportunity for New Zealand to show uh, leadership um, through the passage and development of animal inclusive disaster management law. But even in parallel to that, we, we've got some lessons in terms of ourselves, in terms of our own colleagues and agencies and our partner agencies and our wider sort of sector is that there are still sort of issues and challenges that we have around conduct. Uh, we don't necessarily have the tools or, or the same standards that apply to human organizations. And as a result, that may delegitimize our role if we're not using the same standards, such as training, codes of conduct, background checks, et cetera, they're kinds of, they're, that's the kind of thing that sort of erodes uh, confidence, which means that we don't have the opportunity to then actually respond and actually make uh, a difference to animals that are harmed by disaster. So potentially a model act uh, will allow us to actually measure and compare country to country, and it will hopefully allow uh, for greater levels of research and data to be collected. And that research and data, along with grey literature and um, uh, research, et cetera, could feature in a AI-based uh, global knowledge base, um, which I earlier covered um, the other day. So from the presentation that uh, we gave um, yesterday around the use of AI, uh, we have actually created in the last 24 hours a beta version of a AI chat, chat bot to actually start to help create um, a way that we can start to share those after action reports, those best practices, those model laws, those research papers, those books, um, those videos, websites, et cetera, that we can put into Dante uh, and generate um, you know, responses and information uh, that can actually be um, robust uh, as much as possible in terms of the, the, um, the information being generated by that. So if you do go to the, the gadmac.org slash AI, you'll find that that uh, chatbot is actually uh, working. So please um, have a look and we will be on the lookout for um, authors to share their works if they wish to, to be added into that, into that knowledge base um, so that we can start to actually hopefully learn uh, some of the challenges or learn from some of the challenges we've had in the past. So GADMAC in terms of next steps, um, we'll be doing some updates on our website, which will include uh, YouTube links to all the recordings from GADMAC 2023. Um, we traditionally closed down the MailChimp uh, account to save money as a charity, um, but uh, we reactivate it in the lead up to um, 
the next GAD Mac. So we keep the details, but it's generally not used. Um, so what I would suggest is if you do have colleagues that want to sign up for GAD Mac, um, look, they can still sign up now uh, at, our, at our website through MailChimp. Um, but the other sort of form of keeping up to date is the Facebook uh, and LinkedIn. So we have both uh, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn for GADMAC, if you um, search for us there. Now, a number of uh, presenters have um, opted to submit their um, presentations in an article form uh, to the Australian Journal of Emergency Management. Um, and so we're looking forward to seeing a range of publications uh, that will be put into AGEM. It may be a standalone, it may be a part thereof um, addition, uh, and that may also include contributions from outside the conference as well. So we, we certainly thank the Australian Institute of Disaster Resilience uh, for their support with that open access journal. That also leads us into GADMAX 2023 awards. So over the next sort of few weeks, uh, the committee will be reviewing information, evaluations, et cetera, and um, uh, making some determinations around our uh, award winners. Uh, if you look at our website under awards, you can see the previous year's uh, winners. And um, we look forward to having a short ceremony in the next few months uh, to acknowledge um, some of the uh, more standout presentations that we've been um, blessed to have. For GADMAC, our next GADMAC, again, we would sort of welcome your thoughts and feedback, certainly in the evaluation that you're about to get after this presentation uh, about what is the theme and how do we make an impact? As, as, as Gerardo Hutez said to me, we can't, uh, we can't really let GADMAC just become a regular talk fest. It has to actually... Uh, make an impact, it has to make a difference. And I think they're they are certainly wise words for us to, to look at. So rather than just having a, another range of speakers, which um, we're very um, happy to have, we've also got to start thinking about how do we actually make sure that what we are doing is actually making a tangible difference. Um, this year, we had uh, a range of speakers who, whose English was a second language, and I certainly thank uh, all the speakers um, who, who do not use uh, English as a first language, uh, who presented as, as such. Um, certainly working in countries where you don't speak the, the local languages is challenging at best, but to give a presentation to a global audience, um, I appreciate your, um, uh, your, your courage to do that. But in recognition of trying to be more global and more inclusive, um, we are very keen to try all next year um, encouraging presenters from any, anywhere in the world to present in their native language, providing it's compatible with the um, Zoom closed caption language list uh, to see if we can get even a greater and wider uh, uh, number of, of speakers. As we start to wrap up, um, it wouldn't be a conference uh, finish up without saying thank you to a range of people. And um, I'm very, very lucky to be supported by an amazing uh, conference committee and conference coordinator. Um, the conference committee uh, are all volunteers and um, all from different time zones. So it usually means that uh, at least one or two, if not half, are always disadvantaged at an 11 o'clock or 1 a.m. 1 a.m. Uh, morning, or well, getting up very early. Um, so a special thank you to Mel Taylor from Australia, Gerardo Hutez from Costa Rica, uh, Rebecca Husted um, from USA, Jenny Rosegay from USA, uh, and Christine Boucher, who attends um, as required as part of the AGEM uh, partnership. Um, a lot of the work that's gone into this conference, uh, because of our, our lessons from previous conferences, it's, it's a lot of work. Uh, and we were very, very, um, uh, very, very privileged and happy to bring on board Christina Giva, uh, who's based in Israel, uh, who's been our conference coordinator. So thank you so much, Christina, for a huge amount of work which has gone on behind the scenes. And there's still more work to be done uh, in the next week or two. So um, thank you all my, um, all the committee and, um, and Christina as well. And as we head towards the end, it wouldn't be, this conference would not have been possible at all um, without the, the generosity 
and the support of our sponsors. Um, this year, we were, um, we were fortunate to have Four Paws as our platinum sponsor. Uh, thank you so much for the huge amount of support that you've provided to us. And also our gold sponsors, the American Veterinary Medical Foundation uh, with Warren Hess. Um, thank you so much for you know, your support, your presentations. Humane Society International, Jen Gardner, thank you so much. Um, for you know your um, oh sorry um, not 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 Jim Cardner um, but uh, Adam from uh, Humane Society International uh, for your presentation and support and also Jim Gardner and team uh, from I4 as well so it's really encouraging that we've got some of the the biggest names uh, internationally involved in animal disaster management being key partners uh, and again it would not be possible to create a, a conference which is fully online, free to attend, free to present, free to later view. Um, and so thank you very much for all those sponsors who have made um, that, that difference. And finally, we've all got motivations why we do what we do. Uh, and for me, um, it's, it's my dog. Um, it's more than a dog. He's, he's our family. His name's Diesel, and uh, he's been uh, with me along this sort of journey for a long time. And um, although we have challenges, we have frustrations, uh, we've always got to come back to why we're doing this. And, um, you know, when you do have those challenging times, it's always good to refocus why um, you're doing what you're doing. So that's GADMAC 2023. Um, thank you so much for everyone attending at all the different time zones. Um, you're welcome to make a donation if you're able to through the QR code, uh, but we're looking forward to seeing you at the next GADMAC, and thank you everyone for making GADMAC 2023 a huge success. Thank you everyone.